Greetings to everyone out there in the internet. This is Toon Link with, um, well, my friend Ike, as soon as I can find him. Whoa! Ike, what are you doing? Perfect timing, but you should have been able to counterattack. Relax, man, this isn't a tournament or anything. Now you know a true warrior must always be on his guard. Well, well, yeah, but... Oh, never mind. Well, anyway, let's begin. We're here to talk about a concept that many gamers know as the third way, which defines a balance between competitive hardcore gamers and innocent casual gamers. We're here to teach you how to play Brawl using the third way, or as we like to call, how to brawl like a man. But why would I want to brawl like a man? Are you serious? Despite Olimar's stupidity, his curiosity is valid, so we'll answer his question anyway. Basically, the third way is the middle ground between casual and hardcore gameplay. A casual gamer will take a game home, and beat it, then abandon it like there's nothing left. On the other hand, a hardcore gamer will push his play to its furthest limit, but he quickly finds that his competitive spirit leads to hurt feelings and strained relationships with his friend. Hey, isn't that why your girlfriend left you? We. Do. Not. Talk. About. That. Now, like everything, fighting like a man has rules. By practicing these 12 fundamental rules, it becomes much easier to understand what it means to brawl like a man. You know, how about we look around and show them the 12 rules in action? Good idea! Let's go! Whoa. Oh, I almost forgot something. Before we begin, there's one thing you should know. We. Did. Not. Make. These. Rules. These rules and all related ideas belong to Dyron Cates. You should check his videos out on YouTube.com if you're interested in more. Hurry up, we're gonna miss the boat! Alright, but you're buying the tickets this time! We'll begin with possibly the most important rule, which should be in your mind at all times. Rule number one, finish with a bang. No matter what the skill level, your opponent deserves to be finished in a cool way. To let your opponent die without a flashy finish is to dishonor them and not make them. This includes using a final smash, or following your opponent off the edge to make sure they die. And that last clip was a good example of rule number two, which is manliness before victory. Don't be afraid to follow your opponent off the edge, you just it means you die in the process. But wait, you say, if I die in the process, that means I might lose. Well, that's the idea. Killing your opponent in a cool way is more important than actually winning the match. The second you focus on victory over manliness is the second you lose all manliness you had to begin with. Now the following clip is a good example of rules 3 and 4, which is repeat, don't spam, and melee over range. A good manly player will immediately identify his character's manliest moves and make note to use them often, such as using a falcon punch every so often. However, a manly player doesn't spam. Using Fox's blaster, as, a, as viewed here, is spamming, and therefore not manly. Rule number four is basically self-explanatory. Hitting an opponent in close combat is almost always manlier than hitting them at a range. With that said, let's move on. Rule number five states, never attack during a taunt. Men don't attack while their opponent is taunting. To do so is to give power to the taunt, and is not manly. You're too slow! You're too slow! You're too slow! You're too slow! This You're too slow! slow. You're Funny you should slow. mention that, Ike, because there is You're one exception slow. to rule number five, You're which is, of slow. course, during any of You're Sonic's taunts. Would you care to demonstrate? Hmm. I'll be right back. You're too slow. You're too slow. You're too slow. Ah! Rule number six is fight your own battles. Don't rely on anyone to finish your opponent for you, not even your minions. This means no waddle Doos, no Toad, and definitely no Pikmin. Rule number seven reads, no Johns. Basically, a John is anyone who complains after losing a fight, putting the blame on everyone but themselves. You little you son of a f***ing I'm going to tear off your and shove them right up your and then on your with in the and your so then you'll have to sideways. If you lose, it's 
not because you fought like a man, you just lost. And now for rule number 8, which is don't take unfair advantages. Real manly players use their skill to win a match, but don't take that same skill to take an unfair advantage. And this also includes edge hogging. What did I just say about edge hogging? Beat it! Speaking of hogs, we move on to rule number 9, which is don't touch the hog. For this explanation, we move to our good buddy Wario. Take a good long look at Wario's bike. Wario loves his bike. He put his sweat, blood, and tears into building this bike. So don't mess with this bike, because after all the time... <sighs> Never mind. And now we move on to rule number 10. Violations mean death. Basically, if you break any of the 12 man rules, whether you meant to or not, you must immediately self-destruct and... Ike? Uh. Ike, what did you do this time? But he was violating rule number three, and against me! Well, I'm proud of you for enforcing the rules, but at least get rid of the body. I mean, we don't want to get in trouble. Body? What body? I don't see a body. Okay, moving right along. Okay, rule number 11 is basically find your own path. As long as you keep the man rules in mind, find a fighting style that works for you and stick to it, as long as you're not copying anyone else, because that's not manly at all. And now we move on to... Hello, good sir. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Marth. You're just in time to help us explain the 12th rule. And what's my that to be? No, Marth. This one needs no real explanation. Just no Marth. Well, that about does it for the 12 rules. Joey and Johnny were going to have a music video to wrap things up. Unfortunately, due to time constraints, they weren't exactly able to finish it. However, if you're interested in seeing that video, along with several others, they should have it posted sometime around Christmas. One of them will post it on their YouTube channels, which are written on the board to the right. Or follow them on Facebook for them to post a link there. Well, thanks for watching.